Hi, and welcome to episode 17 of my Naked Protology in the Tundra. I am Iken, and today we're going to build some nice recovery room here, or much more recreation, survive the rest of the winter, get into the spring, do some nice curveneering after the winter, and get rich, research towards gun turrets, and survive, hopefully. If you like this kind of content, check out my channel, you'll find a lot of similar content there. And if you like it, leave a subscription. You'll get notified if anything nice and new shows up for you. So this place really got crowded in the last few episodes. I'm very happy with um, the progress this colony made. It seems to me like right now I'm sitting on a quite stable spot. I mean, nothing is uh, permanent in the world and there are Things that can happen quite quickly that just uh, will shove me off the edge. But I want to have a throne room in preparation now because it's about time to think about these things as well. Because we're coming along quite nicely. I have the resources to accept um, further noble nobility increases. So let's go. Um, thinking about doing a throne room area like in this vicinity here that'll be nice and close to the sleeping areas of the colony while being a new room that's uh, not directly connected with anything else and uh, well, I'm going to put up the bedroom of the noble in the vicinity here to keep the um, walkways rather short and that should work out nicely. Let's do a double door. I always feel like double doors um, make that nice noble look and noble feeling much more. So we're going to need braziers um, for the lowest of nobles. So let's do that and set up some meditation thrones as well. There we go. It's uh, going to be a quite simple room, but I, I think that's going to be beautiful too. All right, I'm completely out of chunks, so let's change that. Let's build some sandstone flooring in here. I have, I have the feeling like I want to combine slate and sandstone here. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. And this is all the nobles need for the time being, but. I don't know, did I research? Yeah, but I didn't research the harp yet. But the harp is only needed when you hit the uh, knight title, so let's see. Um, we have a trade with Varifo available. Expires in two days. Didn't I uh, strive to achieve that anyways? So here we are, needing 70 ingredients of something. I'm lacking that, so... Well, maybe not much longer, but at the same time, I don't think it's realistic to uh, try that because I'll need 2.2 days to get there alone. But then again, um, wasn't it like I didn't accept it yet? Mm -hmm. So, well, I would love to take the uh, royal favor here. Oh. Joy when days because of chemical starvation. Uh, drug issues again. It's always about drug issues. Mental breakdowns and drug issues. Alright, there are enough leather uh, sources to get the job done here. That's good. Okay. Who's the hunters? Orion and Elon? So, so sad that this guy went breakdown, but, oh, hello, there's a mechanoid cluster ready to mess me up. So let's check out that thing. What do we have here? A toxic spewer. Um, that does, um, oh gosh, that's so annoying. This thing basically uh, produces a toxic fallout uh, event. So we have a mech assembler, which is up to 
assemble a centipede upon us. Oh man, I knew we were in for trouble. But there's one good thing, there's only mini slugger turrets on their side, so... So, only one lancer, or no, two lancers are... Okay. So... What do I have up my sleeve to uh, fight that off? Wow, that's uh, amazingly bad. There's nothing in my warehouse to uh, make that job easier. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> boy. So, this is pretty much uh, enough to end my run. If that just uh, goes into my face. So, I really gotta take care of that situation and I gotta take care of that quickly. Because, um, I can't allow those uh, things to spawn into me. So, I have to destroy that before it gets the centipede assembled because I don't know how I should be able to fight off a centipede so um, what I'm going to do is uh, hey tell me arise and do this jacket I'm going to try to solve this with nobility I have a certain plan in mind and maybe it's going to work out I'm not sure though just hope we're going to get it done quickly enough but it's the best shot I have in mind because I really don't want to live in a uh, toxic fallout environment here okay so I have those six jackets now um let's uh, turn off that job and form that caravan um no I need the quest so I'm going to accept that for royal favor that's that um expires in 25 25 days so we got to travel down there um let's do this i'm going to send orion and uh let's say naoko and you get this those food stocks and off you go the hope of our colony rests in your hands take those clothings and uh fare thee well I'm going to give them all the clothes because I uh, hope that I can sell off um, the leftovers to my neighbors to buy something useful in this situation because uh, I'm in the middle of a calamity if you're uh, if you're asking me so uh, let's go for this and uh, hope they come back fine because I don't know how to uh, manage this otherwise. So. Ryan is the only person in my crowd being a noble person. Okay. I'm going to add somebody else here. This is uh, not how I want it. Let's add Elon and remove Ryan. I want Ryan in, in here because I'm going to promote Orion from that uh, quest reward and basically I want to have his firepower available here because once he gets promoted to the Acolyte rank he's going to get the uh, um, permission to uh, summon a squad of uh, nobles or no <laughs> noble faction people basically so yeah and I, I just hope that that'll help me to get rid of that problem here because I really need to initiate on those guys before that toxic spewer engages. I don't know how that mech assembler works though. I'm, I'm afraid that the centipede is a sealed deal. Like, I can't avoid that anymore. That this thing will spawn when, when this thing gets activated. I'm afraid it works like that. So, well, uh, the other thing here is I have a lot of uh, Malay people available and, well, I don't know. It's a pretty risky deal to fight a centipede up close, but if you amass enough people whacking at that thing, it's going to take some time until it has finished off everybody in Malay. So chances are I'm going to win at some point. But not if I get pelted down by lancers and the turrets at the same time. And my my armaments are really miserable. I don't even, even have one uh, single assault rifle. We're so poor. 
And I mean, it's not like I, I wasn't trying during this uh, series to uh, get those weapons in my possession. No, 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 no. I was certainly trying to, but it wasn't available. So you can't uh, do anything about that. If it's not available, it's not available. Bad luck. Bad luck. Certainly some really, really uh, nasty case of bad luck. Because um, that means there's a certain uh, chance that this ends my game. <laughs> so sad. I hate mechanoids. <laughs> They're so powerful. Especially those clusters. They're... I, I hate those things. I just... Uh, I just don't disable them because I love challenges, but sometimes deep down inside myself I'm really really tempted to download a mod which disables the Mechanoid cluster event once and for all because they're so powerful and so hard to deal with them without the proper um, gear That's uh, my my largest uh, gripe with that mechanic because uh, honestly it's so brutally hard to get that under control without EMP weapons or mortars or whatever and with the naked brutality start it's pretty hard to uh, get those things running so the other option here is just uh, I'm going to exclude this area of the map and we're not going to go down there again so I guess that's uh, the best thing to do and um, waiting for some other caravan to die down there. Let's do that. I think that's the best idea I'll, I had for quite a while. So let's uh, fetch ourselves some area. I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to call it um, cluster safety. So let's invert that zone and clear allowed areas to make sure we're not going to run into the cluster safety area. Boom. Job's done. So this way, it's going to be basically impossible to kill my people or get killed accidentally here. So there we go. I don't have any better better ideas in my mind because it's so dangerous, and uh, I I don't want to give up at this point. You know, that's just. Uh, just out of question all I need are bigger guns and uh, some 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 poor fools running into that cluster and fighting for me because uh, more often than not um, caravans um, go into these positions and just uh, start the fight for you no problem so Naoko's caravan has ran out of food I don't understand why I gave them food for a way longer time but uh, well that was with Orion there so I don't know why uh, Elin and Naoko are having such trouble but it's uh, terrible enough that I have to send them to Luton to fetch some food I can't expect that they're going to survive two full days of malnutrition no not going to happen <laughs> So let's uh, sell off uh, some of those goods right away and uh, I mean I made up my decision how to deal with the situation anyways, so I'm fine. Hey, nice eating raw ibex. Yum. So my cooks are out of town, that's why. Um, let's set up Choi and Elliot for that job to make sure that somebody's cooking. Hey, hey Tommy, yeah, why not? Somebody has to cook, that's all um, I want to make sure, because uh, I can't allow them to uh, eat. Well, okay, Joy, are you a... What's wrong with you? Why are you eating... He's eating raw meat while there's uh, literally a simple meal lying next to him. Hmm. Some things I just don't understand. So let's check out the health readout. So they're not malnutritioned yet. Oh, a solar flare. Oh, my precious. So solar flares are uh, particularly nasty when you're running hydroponics. So 
Sometimes they survive it, um, or sometimes not. Most of the time your plants are able to survive one solar flare, but in this particular scenario I'm going to uh, order the harvest right away. And these are not sufficiently grown. Hmm. Okay, so who's uh, up for that job? All right. All right. Well, let's check out what happens here. Okay, I'm. I can safely cancel that now. The solar flare was uh, short enough to um, make sure that the hydroponics survived that. Good. Okay, so here we are uh, a step before malnutrition, so that's why I went that way. I don't want to risk anything here. It would be very, very unnecessary to blow up everything here just uh, because I was too... Uh, too stubborn to turn back here. I have 25 days of time left and uh, well the cluster will solve itself someday. Pretty sure that procrastination will solve this cluster problem somehow. So let's uh, make sure I don't sell any jackets. It's very important to keep the jackets. Um, wait a sec. These guys even carrying the the quest gear? It doesn't look like. What the well? Okay, okay. So first off, let's do some trading here. That's cool. Get some money. But is this stuff still in the colony? Did they forget to bring? It? No. So. Uh... Where did the jackets go? I did half six of them, and now they're gone. The only thing I can uh, think of is that they went away because people wore them. That must be the answer, because... Uh, Nothing else would make sense, but that would be a shame because I need them. Okay, so... Uh, oh. This would be 0.4 days for them. Alright, so let's send them home. They won't be starving in 0.4 days. And, oh, that's nasty. That's super nasty. How did that happen? I mean, let's check it out. Do they have a uh, brand new jacket somewhere? Because that's uh No. Everybody's just wearing parkas, so they're here. They didn't pick them up here. They're all the jackets. So uh it's hard for me to tell what really happened here. The only thing I know is that they didn't pack everything. <laughs> oh man, that's so uh, that's so sad. But at least I noticed it before I sent those guys over to uh, the royals, because that would have been the worst case scenario. Talking about worst case scenario, I'm quite uh, worried that they might be uh, spawning right next to the cluster. So let's check out where. Oh, okay. We got lucky! So, you guys have some food and then we have to walk that one again. Okay, why ever um, these jackets didn't uh, land in the caravan? I don't know. But let's uh, form a new caravan here. Let's pick up Hitomi and Choi and uh, do it one more time. Why not? So, just like the last time, bringing all the clothing here. I just don't get it why they didn't, uh, they didn't bring this stuff. Oh well. 
No use breaking my head about that. Okay. So let's go. That cluster certainly uh, amped up the pressure on my colony. But at the same time, what's life without some without some challenge? Ooh, talking about challenge. Those elks are a nice challenge for my freezer. Let's check out if it's large enough to store them all. So I want to try to tame that polar bear. I mean, maybe it'll uh, it leave the uh, evil area one day. But basically, the thing about those clusters is, I mean, the Toxic Spewer is uh, super nasty and everything, but I'm not really um, that much relying on the outside world. Man, that's so hard. It's such a hard situation. But I don't know how I should um, tackle that. Because I'm um, pretty sure that the next thing that'll happen is I attack that and a centipede will spawn. Because that's how these assemblers works. work. Once uh, the whole array is active, there's going to be a timer on the assembler which will tell me how much time it'll need until the next of the um, remaining three mechanoids will get assembled. So, or... Big time. So... This is one of those events um, bad enough to make to make me think about uh, changing my my settlement spot. <laughs> Just uh, leave the map and uh, retry somewhere else. But that would be the third time in a short uh, pe in a short period that I um, do that in a series. So I don't know if I really want to do that. So there's a big bad nasty bunch of uh, wild foxes streaming into my base now. Um, this is a quite nasty event because, uh, what about this number? 12. So, I'm gonna take that serious. And the best way to take that serious is by fighting the, them at a uh, choke point. So, I'm going to pick myself some choke point here. Because uh, they're going to pour in here and I'm going to be able to use that door. So, Elon is the person with the pump shotgun, and I'm going to need Naoko here. And let's uh, bring everybody else there. And the melee personnel there. So, I'm afraid that's sadly all we have to muster. And I'm going to open that door permanently for the time being. So let's check out how many I can gun down before I have to retreat. Because, uh... So Elliot will now retreat. Because uh, he's having a, uh... Less... Quick weapon than the others. So, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. So... Let's, uh, do the following. Naoko has to... Move back one step. There we go. And that's going to be our fighting position. It's the best you can muster in situations like these. Because uh, this way only one of them foxes can attack. And this is, well, the most preferably situation. I, prefer I don't know how to f fight that one better. So I, I tossed a pain block on Naoko. I'm going to do the same for Lumpy here. Just in case that they're getting some nasty wounds in. I don't want to uh, have them get downed here. I can't uh, get anybody downed in this uh, fight. Um, this is very important that this uh, wall holds. Ooh, I, uh, I gotta say, foxes and such. Cats. All these things. They're doing so... They're applying so many stacks of bleeding. It's... Uh, Super dangerous. So um, let's uh, hope that everything will go fine. Another nice thing about pain block, um, your people that are wounded are still moving in a proper speed. 
So lumpy bed rest, Naoko bed rest. Um, one, okay, Naoko is already going for rest. Lumpy wants to uh, haul a fox, but I disagree. I disagree strongly. So their moving value is, uh, well, Lumpy is uh, moving quite quickly. Naoko is already pro quite slow, but well, it's okay. Let's uh, doctorize that and not forget to uh, close that door as soon as possible again. Okay, so who's available for Naoko? I'm going to send Elliot on that one and let's see who's going to treat Lumpy. Um, no, Elon sounds like a good choice to me. I'm going to use uh, pretty strong doctors here because that's a real serious threat. Um, can die quite easily out of fights like these. So, all right. But luckily we got this covered, can reduce the bed rest factor now again, it's okay. All right, so I got some nice amount of fox fur as well. That's nice too. Fox fur is a super good material that is quite valuable and I think it had some nice stats too, I can't remember though. All right. So, two more days and that nasty thing will turn on itself. It's so, so sad because I didn't even uh, reach the point where I get to research mortars. Because mortars would be a very, very good um, answer to the situation as well. Just uh, pump out those shells and uh, explode that spewer. But, well, I don't even so sad but sometimes you just get that unlucky well well let's see what uh, the caravan will bring up here or I mean as soon as uh, Choi and Hitomi are back home uh, I'm considering an all-out attack but well Lumpy and Naoko are now pretty wounded um, too so I, I'm not sure if they're going to be combat ready in one and a half days already, but well, let's see if that's uh, possible or not. All right. So let's check that out. The thing is, even if I'm able to summon those royal reinforcements, I'm um, not convinced that it's enough. I'm really not convinced that it's going to be enough. Because they're basically um, just like um, a raider attack. So... There we go. Give jackets. And we got that. So royal favor will go to uh, postpone. Oh man, can't I uh, give that to somebody here in the colony? Like if I go here. So I can't give this uh, reward. Oh, I, I thought I would be able to give that reward to somebody here in the colony. Oh man, that's unfortunate. So we're not able to attack them here. Okay. <sighs> Would have been too good to be true. So that means I can only hope that I'm able to give that royal favor to somebody else when they're back home. Would be really bad if not. But whatever might be the case, they're going to be too late, I'm afraid. So, Philonus's Psychic Droner. That sounds like I would uh, activate a Psychic Drone. And, uh... Ah, Psychic Drone Sight. Eltex Gear. Oh, okay, no. I'm not too keen on that, thanks. Alright. Alright. 
So let's uh, see, 1.1 days. So basically there is a chance that I can still summon the royals on that thing. Hmm. But not before it awakens, but does it really make some make that much of a difference? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Oh, let's uh, kill that thing too. Oh wait, maybe not. Too afraid of the revenge, and I'm too lazy to do the uh, manual hunt here. All right. So, bunch of dead foxes here, still cremating the incident. Okay. So, hell will break loose quite soon. 19 more hours until the toxic spewer goes live. Oh man. I don't really feel like uh, doing a recreation room anymore. I feel like I'm needing a hospital way more now. So, Lumpy and Naoko are... Well, Naoko is uh, pretty, pretty okay already. Lumpy got some more wounds, but, well, I guess until the end of that timer they should be quite okay again. Oh dear, this will be heavy. Okay. Or I'm going to research uh, mortars afterwards and uh, try to fight it off, fight it off like that. Produce my own ammunitions and uh, destroy them here. <laughs> uh, I will be so late for that strategy, though. That's the problem there. So let's check out what I can do if I just uh, flat out sell sell all the stuff I produced in the time being, and uh, maybe there's something I can use here. I mean armor. Plate armor, so not really a good thing. A sniper rifle, well, not too useful either. Molotov cocktails, huh? Are you trying to... Okay, so uh, the best thing here seem to be the components. They're stupidly uh, costly, but with components I can do um, some, some turrets and stuff. So maybe that'll help. The other things won't help, won't be helping me. That that's for sure. I mean, a sniper rifle is good in theory, but uh, well, a plasma sword. If I could afford it, that would be well. But I'm so far away from affording a plasma sword here. So <sighs> the world will turn green in six hours. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, fight that off or not or maybe this will be the end of the series who knows I'm ready to try that though so royal favor is now oh boy I can't no why 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 <laughs> I didn't know that's uh, working like that oh man okay so I did it uh exactly wrong so turns out Choi is now a new found noble but uh that only gives him the the yeoman title and that's not enough to fight this so uh, like i planned to oh man i really thought that i would be more flexible in the choice of who takes the title there dang that's unexpected Okay, so my friends, I'm going to uh, cut this episode here and um, let's see how this series will continue. I'm sure that I'm up for um, a really, really bad fight in the future. So these things are still dormant. So, I mean, I'm going to set up some strategy to uh, deal with this. And uh, maybe I'm going to be able to survive it. Who knows? And 
I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Thanks for watching and uh, you guys are awesome. I really am very, very grateful for your time spent on my videos and hope you're going to check out what's happening here, but it doesn't look good. Have a nice time until then and goodbye.